This is Mike Mozart at Jeepers Media on YouTube back again with the worst toys of yesterday and today. That's right, I promise there's going to be toys in this review, but this video is going to be focusing on questions for this big corporation called Viacom. This is a very important video for you, your friends, your family, and everyone in the YouTube community. A giant corporation called Viacom has taken legal action against your YouTube in federal court. Viacom is one of the largest media corporations in the world. You all probably best know Viacom because they own Dora the Explorer, SpongeBob, and um, Neopets. The legal action of Viacom versus YouTube is about video clips uploaded without Viacom's permission. Many of those clips were from South Park, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and The Colbert Report. And these clips were uploaded by true fans of these shows. They were short, grainy clips of these episodes that were posted because they meant a lot to the users that uploaded them, and they wanted to share their feelings with the YouTube community. And a lot of these were just uploaded by kids. Yes, kids. 13, 14, 15 years old, or even younger. These kids uploaded these with no intentions of breaking the law. And, as loyal fans, they wanted to share their love for a show like South Park. And these fans actually believed they were helping spread the word about these shows to help make them more popular. And now Viacom is fighting YouTube in court for one billion dollars over these copyrighted clips that were uploaded without their permission. Viacom filed copyright takedown notices against tens of thousands of these clips. And you all have seen copyright takedown notices on YouTube. YouTube followed the letter of the law and followed the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, and they removed those clips as soon as they were notified by Viacom. Yet Viacom is still deciding to go after the in court for a billion dollars. And now the serious problem and how it could relate to you. These little copyrighted clips were uploaded to YouTube mostly by kids like you. Members of the YouTube community, not YouTube itself. And the problem is, Viacom may have the right to sue you next, or your friends, or your families, or whoever may have uploaded these clips. And Viacom may go after huge cash settlements. And this legal action against YouTube is more than $15,000 for every clip that was uploaded without Viacom's permission. And should you be scared if you had a clip taken down? Yes, absolutely. You violated copyright laws. Hey, those were Viacom copyrighted materials, and anyone that uploaded those stole those if they used them without permission and violated copyright laws. The giant Viacom Corporation owns lots of copyrighted materials and intellectual property, including SpongeBob SquarePants, Dora the Explorer, Neopets, and a lot more. Their MTV, VH1, Black Entertainment Television, Country Music Television, it goes on and on. These kids and their families feel threatened, and this potential threat that Viacom may go after the YouTube community as individuals is not being addressed in the media. And have you, your friends, or your family ever had a clip taken down because of a copyright infringement against Viacom? Viacom has lots of other names they may have used to take down those clips too. And who knows what Viacom may be planning to do to individual members of the YouTube community that uploaded those copyright infringing clips. What kind of financial hardship could they cause to your family? The music industry sued and won huge cash settlements from families of kids that uploaded and shared music online. Go online and look at it. Some of these families paid out thousands of dollars in settlements. It financially crippled families. And it could happen to the YouTube community. It could happen to you. The YouTube community is very concerned and afraid. Buy companies to state publicly right now. If they intend to take legal action against these kids or these YouTube community members that uploaded these clips that are being mentioned in this YouTube legal action. And the answer has to be a definite yes or no. No corporate spin cycle. There seems to be an awful lot of the corporate spin cycle going on right now with Viacom in this suit against YouTube. These kids and their families feel threatened and they need Viacom's public statement now. And for God's sakes, if you have any images, clips, pictures, or anything that you uploaded to YouTube without Viacom's permission, you better take them down right now. And please read my video description for important details. And check out these Viacom copyrighted and approved um, toys. Lots of parents complained about this SpongeBob Pez dispenser where the, the candy pops out of his pants and looks like your children are eating his um, junk. Um, the Patrick one was equally um, controversial. Oh, Patrick, I have something sweet for you. Oh, SpongeBob, I have something sweet for you too. 
Do you want a nibble, Patrick? Oh, yes, SpongeBob. You want to taste mine, too? Ah, oh, Patrick. Isn't it time that someone exposes what Viacom is doing to you and your children? I mean, really exposed. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think that these things um, are just totally innocent? And check out this Viacom Spongebob lollipop. Look where they intend for your children to suck on this lollipop. Oh. Could they possibly get any more suggestive than that? What were they thinking? What are you letting your children learn by watching Nickelodeon and the associated channels? What kind of lessons are they teaching these children? Do you really want your child to have Spongebob products? Hell no. And Viacom might say there's lots of toys that have like hidden sexual messages. You know, look at all the Mattel Barbie dolls. I can tell you something. Mattel doesn't hide it. They put it in a great big window box. And if a mother buys it for her daughter and she thinks it's appropriate, who are we to say no? But a lot of these Viacom things, they put them in a box and it's not obvious in the box until after it's opened. And this door, the Explore interactive toy, looks so innocent in the box when grandma buys it, she doesn't know what they designed. It's a surprise for your child. Um, look what this design is. It's damned obvious what this was. It's obvious what they were selling for three to six year old girls to play with. Do you think that Viacom is showing a trend here where they're doing overtly sexual things for children? You have to ask yourself, what are they teaching little girls with this toy? And is this a company you want to associate yourself with? Do you want to spend your money on movies and products that comes from a company that makes obviously sexualized toys for very young preschoolers? Viacom, we really want to know who approves these toys at Viacom licensing for little children? I mean, what did you hire that guy that hangs out at the park that offers candy to little children to get into his van? And lots of parents complained about this Dora the Explorer handheld video game, but I guess Viacom saw nothing wrong with it. Hey, and if you think I'm singling out Viacom just because they're going after YouTube, hell no. I, I've been a toy designer for 25 years. I have the biggest toy collection probably in the world. I have so many Looney Tunes toys from over the years. I have never found one single inappropriate Looney Tunes toy that I thought was sexual or something that was inappropriate for children. Not one. Look at all the Hanna-Barbera toys that have been made over the years. Think of all the licensed toys that they have made of all these products over the past 50 years. I have never found an inappropriate Scooby-Doo or Fred Flintstone. Some of them are kind of stupid, but nothing inappropriate or sexual. Face it, there's something wrong at Viacom's Corporation for Children. Can you believe all those? And I have lots more disturbing toys approved by the Viacom Corporation. I'm going to reveal lots more of them in the upcoming Viacom's Questions series. And the question of Viacom regarding all these copyrighted clips that you've pulled down off YouTube, are you planning to go after these kids or their families in any legal manner at all? Because they need to know right now, yes or no. Because you have a lot of movies and children's toys in stores that they're not going to buy if you're going after the YouTube community. And you, my viewer, you can make a huge difference right now. Share this video with your friends, your family, classmates at school. Show it to your parents and tell them that you're concerned and afraid. You can post this video on Facebook and MySpace to share it with your friends or use the embed code and you can embed it in your webpage or forum. Please favorite this video. Please tweet it. That'll help get the word out. And if you're concerned about these issues, you can have this video autoplay on your channel. Please tell your parents about your concerns and share this video with your local TV station, your local newspaper, your local radio station, and get your parents to allow you to give interviews to tell these, these news outlets just how scared you are. This Viacom versus YouTube legal action is a hot news thing right now, and all the news media, they'll gladly interview you. They're gonna jump at the chance to. You can make a difference. And YouTube has 150 million loyal fans. Actually, the target market for Viacom's movies and toys, we can make a big difference. Think about what we can do. And this is only the first in a series of questions. I have lots more very disturbing toys that they own the copyrights to and that they approved. Plus lots more disturbing information about Viacom and lots more is flowing in every day. And you must create a response video. Send me a friend request and subscribe to my other channel, The Toy Channel, in case Viacom does something to take this one down. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the other questions. And I'm counting on each and every one of you to rate this five stars, to favorite it, to comment, anything you can do to get it to the top of the YouTube charts because I'm posting it in the news category. I'm hoping this is seen by NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, and Fox News because I have a lot of questions that are very important to the YouTube community and they need to know we're 150 million strong 
of their target market they're counting on to buy their products and see their movies.